Peace and blessings in this corner box of 24. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is well. Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. God is good. God is great. I really can't complain, you know? So, um, it's a Shakur Stevenson weekend, man. It's his week. It's his weekend. Getting ready for this weigh-in tonight. A little after five, it's going to be the weigh-in. I can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see that energy, you know? And can't wait to see how Shakur just, you know, rumble with this, you know, not rumble, but, you know, wait to see how he break Valdez down tomorrow, man. But I'm looking forward to the win, too, because I know Shakur going to get in his, get in his grill and get in his head and, and mess with him. You know what I'm saying? The cheater that he is, you know, trying to front like he don't know what the hell was going on and he don't know what's going on. But anyway, what I really want to talk about is these negative ass reporters, right? And this has come up again where they trying to say Shakur Stevenson is a boring fighter. So my thing is this, man. If I was Shakur, man, I wish I was with him, man. I'd be like, listen, man, don't interview me then. Let me interview with the ones that know what the fight game is all about. It's not too many of them that really know. You know what I mean? They're making a living off of saying some, you know, making a living off of trying to downgrade the fighter and, and, and say negative things. But it, but there's a few that know boxing for really what it is. Okay? Let me interview with them then. Don't interview me if I'm boring. Why, you know, why are you asking me a question like that about being a boring fighter? But like Shakur said, you know, you don't say that about Lomachenko though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm boring. Why am I boring? Because I'm mastering the art of boxing which is hit and not get hit that's what boxing is to you fans out there let me start with the reporters to you reporters boxing is hit and not get hit that's the art of boxing it's an art that's why it's called the sweet science it's a science to it but it's sweet what's science when you talk about science you're talking about something that has a method to it. The science to something. What's the method? I'm going to hit. I'm going to duck. I'm going to move. I'm going to weave. I'm going to block. I'm going to slide. You know what I mean? That's boxing. It's an art. Like the art of storytelling, the art of boxing, the sweet science. So because Shakur Stevenson is not taking no punishment in there, he's a boring fighter. Okay, well, Floyd did it for 50 fights, undefeated. So I guess he's a boring fighter, too, because he mastered the art of not getting hit. All right, and then when he did get hit, he only got hit a, a few times out his whole career flush. Okay, there's only a few times you can say he really got hit flush. So that's boxing, and that's what Shakur is, is doing. But he's not boring to the fans, though. He's not boring to me. Cause I know boxing. He's not boring to the fans. He's boring to you reporters. Cause y'all wanna keep negativity going. But Shakur, you ain't really got to deal with that. You ain't got to answer that. Just, just keep it moving, man. And let them know how you feel, no doubt. You know, but I'm saying it, man, because I know Shakur Stevenson is the truth, okay? He's an up and coming legend. He's gonna be a hall of famer. You know what I'm saying? And he's pound for pound the best already. I know he's humble and he said after this fight, I gotta be. I should be put on the list. No, he's on that list right now. Of course, Stevenson's in that top ten, man. Okay, he's that type of fighter. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Canelo's number one in my book, and then we go with Crawford, and then we, we're going down the line. But Shakur Stevenson is on that list. Boots Ennis is on that list. Only reason they ain't break through the ceiling all the way yet is because yeah, they didn't fight. Who's who in boxing? But Shakur is fighting a who's who tonight. He's fighting Valdez, a champion, undefeated. So he definitely gonna move up on the list. And you know what I'm saying? So it, there's no question about that. But like I said, I just wanted to get on here, man. This is Shakur Stevenson's weekend. We got that weigh in, we got that fight on Saturday. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to how to how he systematically breaks Valdez down. There's no plan that they have for him. And here's another thing I want to talk about, too. You know, Eddie Reynoso, you know, they don't, they don't, listen, 
I know he got the best fight in the world with Canelo, but it's, they can't do nothing with Shakur, man. It's nothing they could do. I mean, Valdez is who he is. He's not going to change in one fight. Okay, he comes forward. He likes to throw a lot of punches, but a lot of those punches are not going to miss. You know what I'm saying? And, and if he do land something flush, I believe Shakur could, could take it, but he ain't going to land a lot of flush shots because Shakur got that defense down pat. But he's going to be getting broke down. That's the thing. Okay? Y'all look at Pachet, Miguel Pachet, and, 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 and say, well, damn, if he could do what he did to Burchett, he could do that to Shakur Stevenson. Nah, two different fighters, man. Shakur is a boxer. Burchett is a, is a puncher and a slugger. He ain't got no boxing. He ain't got no boxing system in him. He want to slug and he want to knock you out. Shakur want to break you down and hurt you. And if he can't hurt you and knock you out, he just breaks you down for 12 rounds. That's different. You know what I'm saying? So they're two different fighters, man. So that's the game plan y'all trying to use or think that, you know, the power that Valdez has, that he going to just, you know, execute that in any way he wants to, it's not going to go like that. Shakur, is a different, Shakur Stevenson is a different beast, okay? And he going to find out in the ring. I don't care what Jamel Herron said trying to give him tips. I don't care what this fighter say. I don't care what this trainer is saying. I don't care. Even Canelo can't fight for you, Valdez. You in a fight, man, with Shakur Stevenson. Canelo could give you all the tips he want, but you got to fight the fight. Remember that. Canelo's who he is, and when he gets in the ring, he already got his system and his style that he executes. So if he tell you something, that don't mean that you can execute it the way that he's saying it or the way that he does. The other, the flip side of it, the other side of it is that you got that fighter that you're trying to execute that plan against that's on another level. That's your core Stevenson. So that's what you up against, Valdez. Okay? You know, listen, I think you cheated. I think you was, was I think you cheated. You said it was some green tea. I don't get it, but I think you cheated. But I'm not absolutely 100% sure, but I know there was some testing for this fight. So you sh everything should be good. But you can't get mad at Shakur Stevenson. You can't get mad at the world and the fans because they keep talking about it because it's just suspect, man, that you drunk some green tea and it had something in there that was banned, okay? It was banned, regardless. So, you know, the crying that you did on, 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 the, uh, on the show, on the leading up to the fight and all that, listen, I don't know if that was real or not. But I just know, man, right now we're in a fight, okay? Peace and blessings in this corner box in 24. Like I said, tune in tomorrow, April 30th, of course, Stevenson and Oscar Valdez. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the page. Whether it's yay or nay, let me know what you like, what you don't like. We'll work on it. We'll fix it, okay? I'm not perfect. I don't know it all, but I do know a little bit of boxing, all right? So peace and blessings in this corner box in 24.